Good morning and welcome to the Kingdom Seekers radio broadcast where Jesus is Lord, where we praise God for another day, for another privilege and glorious opportunity to share with you a living word from God, a pure word, an unadulterated word. It's not watered down or cut with religion and tradition and doubt and unbelief. Oh no, it's a pure word. Jesus said when he walked the earth, that tradition make, makes the word of God of none effect. You actually water the word down with tradition and religion and your own opinions and ideas. I have a pure word today. Glory to God. No cut in it at all. No preservatives, nothing. Just the word of God. Praise God forever. We're going to start by just giving God some praise and ushering the presence of the Lord. Big Brother George already had the praises of God going. The atmosphere is already charged with his power. We're going to honor him and lift him up. Do you know that when you exalt the Lord, you'll find this in the book of Psalms, it, his presence shows up. And the enemy has to fall back. Can you imagine that? Sin, sickness, disease, your problems, your issue have to back up when the power of God shows up. The Bible says that when God comes on the scene, mountains begin to tremble. Glory to God. Demons tremble at his very name. The name of Jesus. Glory to God. We're going to invoke his presence. We're going to welcome him, and we're going to do that by pleading nothing but the blood of Jesus. We don't want to depend on our works. We don't want to depend on what we did or did not do. We're going to depend on the blood of Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. We're going to look to the cross, to the cross of Calvary, and expect God to do just what he said he would do. He's not a man that he should lie. Glory to his name. Father, we worship you. We bless you. Because of who you are, we give you glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and which is to come, the Almighty. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You created all things, the things in heaven, the things on earth, the things under the earth. All things were made by you and for you, for your pleasure, and it was done by your power. We exalt you, Father. We look at the stars, the sun, the moon, everything that you made, and it is glorious. We can see your majesty in the work of your hand. We glorify you. We join the angels in giving you praise. We join the elders in giving you praise. We join your creation in giving you praise. We shout glory to your name. You are worthy. Glory to God. We at your gates with thanksgiving and into your court with praise. We wake up with the praise. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Father, we thank you for your favor. We thank you that we have the activity of our limbs today. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the word. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your angels that are camped round about us. We thank you. Glory to your name. We honor you, Father, for the very breath of life that we have, for the blood that flows warm in our veins, for the food in our, in our refrigerators, for the gas in our cars, for the money in our pocket. For the clothes on our back, we bless the Lord because all things come from you, God. And we look to you today to show up, show forth your glory, save somebody, Jesus. Heal them, God. Move by your power. Just because you're God, not based on our works, we just depend on you. We trust you, Jesus. We look to you, God. To step in and do something miraculous. Do what the doctor said could not be done. Do it, Jesus. Do it for your glory. And we'll make sure we give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. If you want to get God's attention, start out with a praise. You want to get God's attention, talk about the blood of Jesus. <laughs> glory to God. That's sure to get God's attention. To talk about the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, to praise him for his mercy, for his excellent work. Glory to God. Praise him for his mercy. Just because he's good. That's all. Not for anything that he's done. We just praise you because you're good. You are God. One songwriter said, because of who you are, I give you glory. <laughs> glory to God. The songwriter didn't say because of what you did. It's because of who you are. I give you glory. I stand in awe of you, Jesus. You are mighty and awesome. Glory to God forevermore. 
Woo, it's going to be great when we get in heaven and we can just praise him. Unhindered. Glory to God. It's going to be fun. Glory to God. My name is Dr. Garen Gatling. I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am a servant of the Lord. I belong to him. I'm at his command. Just this weekend, as I prayed, I told the Lord, yes, my money, everything. I pray, it all belongs to you, Jesus. My money, my life, my children, my family, my wife, everything. Glory to God. It belongs to you. I put it up under his lordship. He's the boss. Glory to God. Jesus. <laughs> it's a powerful thing to be free to worship him. To come boldly before the throne of grace. Just because he's good. And I serve under a great ministry. My bishop is Dr. Glenn A. Staples. Wonderful man of God. I give him honor. I've learned a ton by listening to his ministry. I sat at the feet of the bishop for a little over four years now at the Temple of Praise. That's located at 700 Southern Avenue in Southeast Washington, D.C. Dr. Staples is a dynamic minister of the gospel. He can teach, he can preach, he can minister. Whew, he has his hands full over there in Southeast, but we bless God for him and for what he's doing for us. You know, you can learn a lot just by sitting down in church. <laughs> just sit down. <laughs> Tell somebody, just sit down, just sit down, just sit down. Sit down on Wednesday, whatever your Bible study night is. On our night, it is Wednesday at 7.30, 700 Southern Avenue, Southeast Washington, D.C. And every Sunday, we have three services, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 p.m. Dr. Glenn A. Staples, a mighty man of God. We also give honor to this ministry, World Power Gospel Radio, to the Apostle and Dr. Anthony T. Mays and his ministers that are in the building. Big Brother George is in the house, Minister George. We thank God for all of his ministers that are here that they, they get the gospel out. Powerful ministry getting the, uh, the word of God out via satellite, internet, webcasting. Just get the word out. Glory to God. I have a powerful word for you today. So let's dig in. Now remember what I said. This is not about religion and tradition. I'm going to give you all scripture for everything that I say. I'm talking about word for word. This is not something I have to try to break down. This is, this is very plain. Uh, and, and the Bible says the knowledge is easy to him that understands. When you come humbly before the Word of God, you can get what you need. You can get what you need. The Word of God produces faith. The Bible says in Romans 10 17, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. That's how faith comes. That's how faith comes. That's in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say anything else about how faith comes. It comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Say that with me. Faith comes to me by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Stop trying to get it any other way. God's way is the word. So faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. The wonderful thing about faith is, it is, uh, it is the match that lights the dynamite of the blessings of God. Did you get that? If you want something to happen in your life from God, you're going to have to have faith. You'll find that in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. God gets no pleasure out of doubt and unbelief. God, God gets pleasure out of you trusting him, trusting his son Jesus, trusting the finished work at Calvary, trusting him to be your healer trusting him to be your deliverer, trusting him to save your children, trusting him to do everything, to look to him every day. We're talking about a lifestyle. I'm talking beyond Sunday morning. I'm talking beyond a uh, midweek Bible study. I'm talking about a lifestyle. The Bible says, Big Brother George, that the just, that's us. We've been justified by the blood of Jesus. He said we have to live by faith. F faith is essential to the Christian life. It's as essential as, to the Christian life as food, air, and water is to your natural being. If you don't have any air, you will suffocate and die. If you don't have any water, you will dehydrate and die. If you don't have any food, you will starve and die. If you don't have faith, oh God, your Christian life will cease to exist. There's no meaning without faith in Jesus. We have to trust him. The King Eternal, the Immortal, the Invisible, and Only Wise God. Praise His holy name. Faith in the spirit world, in the spirit world, is, uh, is, is, is currency. In this natural world, 
We have money. We have dollar bills, coins, gold, silver, diamonds, what have you. And we use that as a medium of exchange. When you want something, you have to have money to get it, to pay your rent, to pay for gas, your groceries, for diamonds, clothes, your children's education. All that stuff costs money. It's a medium of exchange. In heaven, your money doesn't mean much. They have streets paved with gold so pure, the Bible says it's clear as glass. Money's not the issue up there. You have to have faith. When you come to God, you must believe, the Bible says, that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek it. And I got news for you. If you have faith, you'll get your money. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. And so faith activates the power of God. When you want to tap into the healing power of God, when you want to tap into the miracle working power of God, you need to light a match known as faith. And that will light the dynamite or the power, the dunamis. The virtue, the Holy Ghost, glory to God. I'll give you a scripture for that, then we'll move on. You'll find that in Genesis. In the beginning, uh, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Watch this. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. That word moved in the Hebrew means he hovered. Like an incubator, waiting on something to happen. What was the Holy Ghost hovering over the waters for? Did you ever ask yourself that? What was he waiting for? The very next word says what he was waiting for. And God said, glory to God. He released his word. He released his faith. And the Spirit of God brought it to pass. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost is waiting on you. Tell somebody, the Holy Ghost is waiting on you. He's waiting on you to say something. He's waiting on you to say, by his stripes I'm healed. He's waiting on you to say, I'm more than a conqueror. He's waiting on you to say, I am strong. Glory to God. He's waiting on you to say, I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. Glory to God. He's waiting on you to say something. Glory to God. So he can bring it to pass. Glory to God. Isn't that exciting? And that's why we need the word. And I'm so glad you tuned in today. Glory to God. I'm going to jump right into this thing. We're in Colossians chapter 1. We've been on these scriptures for the last uh, several weeks, and we'll just stay there until the Holy Ghost moves us on. This is some powerful stuff, folks. I found out in a short time that I've been ministering, the Holy Ghost doesn't need a whole lot of time. I don't know where we got that from. God doesn't need a whole lot of time to get stuff done. God just needs us to believe. You can get out your wheelchair by believing today. You can get your situation turned around today. You can get your breakthrough today. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. You can get saved today. You can get deliverance today. You can break that crack habit today. You can deal with that pornography today. You can drop the cigarettes, all of it. And I'm not saying that's condemn anybody. We all have our mess. Uh, I'm talking about how you can get free by the power of God. If you just believe, you'll never find anywhere in the Bible where Jesus said, well, if you just do this, I'll do it. You know, if you just do that, I'll do it. But you will find him saying, do you believe I'm able to do this? If you have faith, if you just believe, he told you, don't be afraid, just believe. That's what he needs from you. God needs you to trust him, beloved. Just look to him. And if your faith is not in a place where you need it to be, go to the book where faith comes. It comes by hearing the word of God. Go to the Bible. Find scripture that covers your situation. If it's your children, find scripture that covers your children. If it's your physical body, find scripture that talk about healing. It's all through the Bible. Exodus 15, 26, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 23 and 25, the Bible says, if you'll serve the Lord your God, Hearken to his commandment. I'll bless your bread, your water, and take sickness away from the midst of you. Psalm 103, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He'll forgive your iniquities. Heal your diseases. That's a benefit. A benefit, watch this and I'll move on. A benefit is anything that improves your condition. You'll get that at your workplace. They have benefit, health benefits, all kinds of stuff. You have to go tap into that stuff. God said, come and don't forget my benefit. I got some good stuff for you. I'm going to forgive you. 
I'm going to heal you. I'm going to redeem your life from destruction. I'm going to crown you with loving kindness and tender mercy. That belongs to you, beloved. It was bought and paid for at the cross of Calvary.